Welcome back, CSE 3200, Yukon Stores. We're in chapter 16, Implicit Intents. We're gonna spend the chapter uh, building the functionality of these two new buttons that we're going to put in in this video. We're going to have the ability to choose a suspect from a list of contacts. That actually happens last in the chapter. Um, and next to last, once we get, you know, kind of the prerequisites set up, we are going to uh, have a button that sends a crime report. But in this video, we are going to uh, update our UI. So the first thing we want to do is go into our string resource file and put in the labels for our two buttons. String name is equal to, and this is going to be crime suspect button. with the text choose suspect. And for our second button, crime report button. Actually, the book calls these not button, but text, text for the button. And this will be send crime report. The next thing we want to do is go into fragment crime detail. and put in our two new buttons. They're going to go in after the checkbox. I'll grab this button here, make two copies, and we want to keep the match parent and wrap content for each. We're gonna have the same uh, four different um, lines of code, except we're gonna change the ID and the text. So the first one is going to have an ID of crime suspect. And the next will have the ID of crime report. The text for the crime suspect is going to be crime underscore suspect text, what we just put in the strings XML right here. And then I will use the same paste here, but change this to crime report text. All right, we could go to the design view and see that we have a preview and I'll go ahead and run it. So what I'm looking for here is that I get the, the text after I run it, uh, fully expecting that I should because it's showing up here in the preview. Uh, you're looking at uh, state of the application after I cleared the database and no longer pre-populated it. I did not show this in class. I did not show it on video, uh, but the instructions for how to do that uh, as is at the end of uh, chapter 14 or chapter 15. So um, we click on this and we do not get the text. So it's a good thing that I checked up on this. Now let's close this, go back to the code view and you'll see that I grabbed the button that is using the tools.txt and I wanted the Android text here. So I go back to design view, it still shows up and I run it. This time I should get the text to show up. So I will click and I do.
Okay, so that's it for the first video. All I intend to do in this one was to set up the new UI and that's all set. So in the next video, we are going to start to migrate our database from version one to version two. See you there.